So let's quickly talk about a term that's going to show up a lot in our discussion of mechanisms, and this is Markovnikov versus anti-Markovnikov. So when we talk about a Markovnikov reaction, what we're usually talking about is a carbocation. So carbocations are most stable when they're on tertiary carbons, if not that, secondary, and then primary is the absolute worst for having a carbocation. So when we have a Markovnikov reaction, we typically are going to favor putting the carbocation in the most substitute carbon, and that means that whatever our anion is, something like a chloride or an oxide, whatever our nucleophile is, will probably be going to that carbon. An anti-Markovnikov reaction does the opposite of that. So basically, we're favoring a substitution or an addition to a carbon that is least substituted. Why does this matter? Well, the other issue we have with Markovnikov reactions is that if we have a carbocation, we can get carbon rearrangements. So, if we look at something like this, and let's say we put our, car our carbocation on the furthest carbon, what can happen is that as this is a primary carbon, this carbon can migrate over. And what we'll end up getting is something that looks like this. Now, this takes a what was originally a primary carbon, or primary carbocation, and makes it into a secondary carbocation, and so this is favorable. And there's something to consider when we look at these reactions is that we can get carbon chain rearrangement. If there is a neighboring carbon nearby, whereby we can move one carbon off of it to basically fill in the gap where this carbocation is, move the carbon cation back to where that carbon came from. If we see a shift from a primary to a secondary or a secondary to a tertiary, there is a good chance that this is going to happen. So as we go through these reactions, when I start saying Markovnikov and anti-Markovnikov, remember that this is important for a reason. If we are forming a carbocation by a Markovnikov reaction, typically we're substituting the more substituted carbon and we can have issues of carbon rearrangements.